from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week we're going to do a little sublimation and I am going to show you a trick on using lamination paper or lamination film to be able to sublimate on any type of wood or a smooth wood I guess I should say. So I'm going to show you the trick to make it work and I'm going to show you how I did an F, a large F and a large S for Fun Stuff Crafts and I put some really cute print on it. So I can't wait to show you what a great hack this is to be able to sublimate on wood. So, but before we get there, as always, thanks so much for joining, joining me today. And if this is the first time you've stopped by my channel, thanks so much. Make sure you subscribe, it really supports my channel. And click on the bell and YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new video. Now I try to do that every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So go ahead and click the subscribe button, click on the bell, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give me a second to get my camera angle change and I'm gonna meet you at my craft table and we're gonna do some sublimation today. Hey crafters, so I want to share with you this sublimation project where I am taking plain wood and I am going to sublimate a picture on it. So this just opens up the world to so many things that you guys can sublimate on. So what the trick here is, is I am using lamination paper. Now you can buy lamination sheets, but I just know I'm going to be doing a lot of this. So I picked up a roll of lamination paper off of Amazon and as always I'll have all the links down below for you guys and what I did is I picked up these um, these letters at Hobby Lobby now they were brown of course when I picked them up and I put a coat of white paint now I just used my white chalk paint and it's completely dry and this is really the trick you want to make sure you've got white on it now these letters they're made of an MDF they're Hobby Lobby's jumbo letters um, and they are 13 and a half inches. So they're gonna be nice and big and I'm gonna put them up on my um, shelves um, and I'm just gonna have the F and the S, um, the F and the S for Fun Stuff Crafts. So this first one I did with a picture of some paper type projects on it. And this one, what I'm gonna do is I am going to add some thread because I thought it would be really fun to do a combination of some of the different crafts I do and I'm gonna put right on it. So the very first thing that you need to do when you're doing um, the project is one, definitely print your print on your sublimation paper. And because of the size of my letters, I am using a legal size and I made sure that I Build the entire page with my print so that's really key that you guys do that then of course painting it white like we were just talking about and then the next step you're going to do is you put the um, lamination paper on first okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out I've got my mat here I'm going to lay out the lamination paper there is a um, shiny side and a matte finish side. The matte finish side is what you're going to supplement into your wood, okay? And so, or actually um, heat press into your wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get an idea of the size. I don't need to use more than what I need. I'm going to grab my Cricut um, precision knife and I'm just going to cut away some of this lamination paper okay and then I'm just going to roll it back up and put it off to the side so the next thing we're going to do is I've got my heat press right here all ready to go and it is set at 400 degrees and we're just going to laminate it for a quick 10 to 15 seconds the first part okay I picked up these parchment pre-cut sheets. I absolutely love using them with sublimation. And I'm gonna put that down first, okay? And that's referred to as blowout paper, okay? And then the next thing I'm gonna do 
is I am going to put my S down, okay? I'm going to put my my um, lamination paper down, and remember we're doing that mat side down, okay? I'm going to put one more piece of parchment paper on there. I'm going to be really careful to slide that in, okay? And then I'm going to take my press, and I'm just going to go down for about 10 seconds. Okay, so it's just been about 10 seconds. I'm going to bring that back up bring it over here and you're going to see that now I have got the the, um, par the parchment paper. I can't even talk today. Sorry about that. The lamination paper is on my S. What I like to do now is I just like to take my X-Acto knife and trace around just so that I can get all that extra off. Now when I painted my S, I did make sure that I um, painted the edges because the way I'm going to display mine um, that um, the edges are going to show. So I'm just going to, and I love using my Cricut mat. I use this on so many different projects and my knife just cuts so nice. So I'm just using it to trace around. And then once I get that traced down, you guys, I'm going to take on our image and we're going to press that and that's how easy this project is. So this lamination paper, just think of the different things you can do with wood. You know, of course the trick is going to be, it's got to be the size that can fit in your heat press, um, no doubt about that, but um, just you don't need to buy special um, wood at all. You can just use what you have on hand as long as you use this lamination. So really just opens up a whole bunch of different things that you can laminate on. So I just about have this done here. Okay, so I've got my S all done. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is I've got my transfer, okay? And I'm gonna lay it down and kind of decide what, what I want to um, have on it. I am going to just kind of lay it right in the center. Now I always make sure that I make my um, print larger than my image because that way it gives me um, some area, okay, to work with. And then I'm just going to take that on, okay. And you guys, the colors on this, oh my gosh, the first time I did one of these, I was so excited. Now, now I'm not going to totally wrap this because I don't necessarily want the, um, the ink to show up on the edges. Okay, so I'm just loosely putting this in there so that when I transfer it over to my heat press, I'm not going, it's not going to slip and slide. Okay, so I can use this same blowout paper that I had. And I'm going to put my image down and my picture or my print is, um, is on top, okay? So that's the, how you're going to lay it. I'm going to put my parchment paper back down here. And this time, we are going to press this for uh, about 90 seconds at 400 degrees. So I'll join you back as soon as I've got that done and we'll see how cool this looks. Okay, so my heat press is just about ready to go off and I want you guys to see I did put my heat resistant gloves on um, because this is going to be very hot. Again, we just did this at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna bring it over. You can see a little bit of smoke coming. I'm just gonna bring it right over, grab. I don't have one of my pads handy. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that down that out. Can't wait to show you guys what these look like. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that, you guys. Look how beautiful those colors are on that. You can really see the threads and everything. So now I can put this up and it can say fun stuff.
In fact, you know what I think I'm going to do, you guys? I am going to buy enough letters that says, spells out fun stuff, and so I can put it above the cabinets that I have right behind me. But for now, I'll make sure I show you what this looks like on my shelves. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how you can use lamination film, add it to wood, and supplement right on the wood. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for other DIY-type projects, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.